want all my friends to be happy. Every last one so high. Hi, I'm Lania with On the Ballroom Beat. I'm here with Tony Zuka, songwriter, singer, recording artist, extraordinaire. Welcome to On the Ballroom Beat. Thank you for having me on the ballroom. <laughs> we're excited to have you. So you have a brand new album coming out. I do, I do. I uh, worked this summer on a new record. Uh, I decided to wait until the new year to put it out so we could kind of get all of the PR buzz ablaze. But yeah, the record comes out January 27th. Very good. Uh, it's a self-titled, new full-length album. Excellent. And where can our viewers go to get your songs and your album? There are currently a, a few singles already from the record uh, on iTunes. Uh, there's a, a song called Delilah, one called Imagination, and recently a new one called Right on Time. They're all on uh, iTunes and Spotify, but the new album will be available on uh, iTunes and Amazon. Right on Time is my favorite, by the way. It's really good. Yeah, I like Thank that one you. very much. And you're also on Sirius XM, if I've heard correctly. Yeah, the song just got added this past weekend to uh, to the coffee house. So that's huge. I think it's in Pandora, too. Uh, but yeah, well, once it's once a record is out, it, it, I guess Pandora does have a bit of a, its own selection process. But once a record is out on iTunes and released, Spotify, you can select to have Spotify and Pandora like, play it and accept it. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now I also know that you are, of course, a fabulous singer, but you've been a dancer before. I have danced, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little about your dance background? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't really come through the door as a dancer. That was sort of, of the three, singing, dancing, and acting. Dancing was not my strong suit. Um, my sister showed me a couple of moves. <laughs> for my Mickey Mouse Club audition. Um, but once I was in the Mickey Mouse Club, we had a phenomenal choreographer and dancer, a guy named Miles Thoroughgood, who, <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like Brittany, Christina, Justin, all of them learned the basics from this guy. And, uh, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of that, that group as well. Um, but it's funny because you said ballroom. <laughs> oh, Nancy, there was, <laughs> it was a fun fact, I suppose, but there was a, uh, there was a fellow Mouseketeer of ours uh, named uh, Jason Carson who had to go by Blaine Carson because uh, there was already a Jason on the show. So uh, apparently Blaine, he was tall. Like he was taller than me, and when he was a kid, he was taller than most kids. And his, like he was like a prime football player, kind of athlete guy. And I guess in fifth grade, he told his dad that he no longer wanted to play football as he wanted to take up ballroom dancing. I, and that's it's great. Like, that's incredible, right? And his dad was like, okay, ballroom dancing it is. Like what a huge move, because right? this kid was like, our yeah. house. But like, of course he just was a you know, big, big handed finesse, really talented guy. Okay, so Tony, do you think you could say that that helped him get on the Mickey Mouse Club? I would have to go out on a limb and say yes. Had William Carson not taken a bottom dancing, he would have two very large left feet. <laughs> but instead, he learned how to, you know, cut a rug. Do you know any any ballroom dan any partner dancing, swing dancing, salsa dancing, anything? Honestly, God, I've had more than enough opportunities. I toured with Mark Anthony. Oh, you should. And salsa. I didn't learn salsa. I dated a, a world. Like not right now, but like uh, a professional uh, swing dancer for a year and a half, and a couple of years, a couple of years, and I would go with her all the time to the dances, and I'd just be like, I want to do that, but I just can't do that. Okay, so Tony, the next time you're in the area, you're gonna come to <laughs> Arthur Murray Palm Harbor and have a dance. Arthur Murray Palm Harbor. Overdue, overdue, yes. my friend. I have to catch you. So speaking of the Mickey Mouse Club, do you know that they're celebrating 60 years of Mickey Mouse Club coming up here from the original one? That means my mom is doing 60 this year. Wow. Is she really? Yeah, next Happy year. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. My mom will be 60. She's born in 1955. Woo, very good, very good. Do you have a favorite memory from your Mouse Club days? Uh, not a single favorite, not a, no way, it was too many. Um, you know, I just, I remember, uh, what kind of sticks out are all the rap parties we'd have at the end of every season, you know, everybody just kind of pours their hearts out to each other and, you know, you really get a chance to recognize everyone you work with um, for, for what it was, which was just an unforgettable experience. That's awesome. 
I just pop quiz time. Are you ready? All right. Let's so do put it. on your thinking pop cap. Quiz. Okay. So first question for you: Dogs or cats? Cats. Oh, really? Dark quick. Okay. Uh, vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Me too. Beaches or mountains? Tough one. California. You get both. Yeah. Smart. Good answer. Last book you read? The Art of Racing in the Rain, which is a dog book of all things. Yeah. yeah. Good. You're coming to the right side. Yeah. That's for my little touchdown out there. Okay. Last question for your favorite sound. The John Coltrane's tenor saxophone. Ooh. Good. Listen, it was such a pleasure watching your concert tonight. Thank You're incredible. You. You're awesome. Good luck awesome. with the new album. Thank you. Uh, listen, I already got a copy. We're going to have it at the Arthur Murray Ballroom Dance Studio, so you'll oh, you all can dance to it. There's some really great West Coast swings. I even heard of Viennese Waltz. Oh. Anyway, and the next time Tony's in town, maybe I'll come by the studio for a lesson. Thanks again, Tony. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye for now.